fuck y'all intro. <laughs> God damn it, I just hit record now. You're just like mute. You're just like fucking mute. <laughs> Bitch, I'm worse because I'm from hell. The fuck you mean? Please. <laughs> Let Dawson talk. Let me speak first. <laughs> Because last time I had a mental breakdown when I was trying to talk and I started crying and you can back this up. You can literally look at the video right now. Um, hello everyone. This is going to be the part two. As you can see, I have Grok here. Probably turn off nameplates. I have the chain. You can talk, if I point to you. Oh, well, I'm sorry, I was muted for a second, because, um, my family and, was yelling. And this is Raz. Ah! <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> okay, okay, settle, we'll settle, settle, settle. Okay, no. Rock. Since since you're yeah. alpha of the pack, um, I I have only scraped the tip of the iceberg of what the pack is and what we'll be doing. Would you like to explain it more, please? Uh, yes, I can. So basically, when it comes to um, what's the best way to start? I think the best way to start is in kind of a little introduction of the idea of the pack. So, a lot of people tend to fight over, oh, this is my, this is my girl, this is my guy, don't touch my man, and all that shit. None of that is in the pack. None of that is like that. Everyone is intermingling with each other. And... I mean, sure, we got, like, a few, like, claims, but they're, those people, like, still interact with the others, and it, it doesn't matter. So, even if one proposes to the other, it's nothing. So, it's, it's still open. Um, My cat won't shut the fuck up, and I'm sorry. The plan of action... The plan of action is to move Dead Center into the United States, a.k.a. Kansas. Why Kansas, you might ask? Well, Kansas seems to be one of the cheapest places to live, aside from Alaska, but Alaska builds up, so we kind of rule Alaska out, so. No Alaska here unless we're doing summer vacations there, but not much more. Sadly. Um, sadly, but Kansas is still a good plan of action, which we've already had. So the plan is we're going to get a house that is there. I'm not going to mention exactly what it is, but it is a fairly large house in Kansas for a fairly cheap price. Probably will be need to fix up. We probably will need to be fixed up, but no big deal because it should still stay under the 200k for a place that would be more expensive if it were more modernized. So, there's that. Um, the only other thing that could be happening, if we don't have the chance to get the house right right away, then we would just get apartments. But nonetheless, the plan of action is to move to Kansas. So, around May to June, we'll be all on the move. I mean, of course, at different intervals, some people will be going first, and some people will be going last. I'm going to be one of the people going last, because I am trying to get my apprenticeship done for plumbing. So, there's that. So, it's expected for me to probably come around June, unless a miracle comes through and I'm somehow able, somehow able to get all my hours in before I graduate. If I graduate and I have my apprenticeship hours, then it would be more like May. So that's why I'm saying between May and June. So that's when everyone's moving out. 
And that time span is also when uh, the variable differs. Whether I'm going to be finishing early on my apprenticeship or I'm still going to take the summer. Um, so the pack consists of, I want to say about 13 people total. You're on desktop. You can count in our server. Yep. Well, I know there are 10, but there are some people that have, like, yet to be added to that server. So that's why I'm estimating. Of course I'm on desktop. No, I know right. I can search at the server. But, um, besides the point. And so it's about 13 people, and all of us are Next. trying to move to Kansas to that house. It is relatively cheap, and hopefully we'll be able to get the mortgage on it and everything um, what's the next thing that I should talk about mm. Mm. Or is there something you want me to talk about yeah um, this, the, let's get Raz going on the uh, surgery because Mutant probably not do well enough. So Raz, you would do a better Such job. I never, I never mentioned the surgery. I yet. was introducing you. <laughs> yeah, I'm, no, I was I'm Raz. I know. I'm Raz. Um, I know. I sound like a guy. I'm actually a girl. I'm transgender. I am Gertrude, along with this motherfucker to have a, uh, uh, that one's going to be a Herm. If you don't know what a Herm is, it's somebody with both genitals, male and female. So that's going to be kind of confusing for y'all, and I understand that. But y'all better accept him, or I'm going to be mad. I'm not even going to lie. Because <laughs> I care for this motherfucker. Now... The surgery might seem risky to you guys, but we both know what can come with it. And uh, there, there's going to be a point where they will have to go ahead and take AIDS pills to kill his immune system to make his body upset. Upset. Uh, <laughs> Except. <laughs> Except, thank you. Except his new parts. Now, uh, it's not, that has to go on for three months. And it gets, it might get risky, it might not. But no matter what, we will all be here. And, uh, we won't let him die. Oh, and what I mean by that, because I forgot to mention, I'm sorry, I'm 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 kind of slow. I forgot to mention that because of the pills. Uh, if if he doesn't take the pills, he could possibly die, like almost immediately, which is risky, and we both understand that. We all understand that. But Therefore, I will be there literally shoving. <laughs> really? Let me. Mm, uh, yeah, that. Honestly, that. Just. I will forcibly shove pill down throat if I have to. Which I will. Because I'm, I'm not going to have this one die on us at all. But I also want her to be comfortable. No matter what. Wait, did you just um, refer to me as a her? Possibly. <laughs> <laughs> I might have said him at one point. I might have said they at another point. I might have said her at that point. <laughs> but we won't talk about that because you haven't decided either. Now have you? No. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I have not decided. Uh, on which, which pronouns I want to use, I'm gonna most likely keep male on my stuffs, almost my stuff. So legal that, uh, stuff. He, legal stuff. Legal specifically. stuff. Specifically because I don't feel like paying to get all that shit changed. 
<laughs> that shit expensive. Oh, I know. I can't wait to sink so much fucking money into myself just to be happy. The the they will be paying <laughs> for the surgery. I know. I got I, it. Well, the pack is gonna have an entire fund. Basically, mm -hmm. everyone is gonna be paying yeah. in at a certain point in time. Whether they're getting yep. their next paycheck tomorrow or whenever, everyone will be pitching in to both of their surgeries, both Razzie and Dawson's. We will both be getting the surgeries on the same day, which is the plan to have both of us get our surgeries on the same day. Yeah. That, that way it's together. That way, no matter what, we have each other. Mm -hmm. And that way it's a lot easier to keep track because they both take their pills on the same day. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, another thing that I, I do plan on doing is hormone therapy after the surgery is done after the three months with the needle hormone therapy surgery. Which, which is... if you do not know, will change a lot. Body physique, <laughs> hair, and will give breasts. So, <laughs> you still have titties. <laughs> Basically, yes. I'm, I'm personally not going to be going through this surgery, but I'll make sure that they come out of it in one piece. Um, the the reason. I don't even think, Grok, did I tell you why I wanted to do the surgery? Or no? Um, I believe so, but go ahead and explain it on camera real quick. Um, the reason I want to do and go through with the surgery, um, mom and dad, I just don't feel comfortable like Raz does in their body, and... I'm still mentally confused because I feel like I should be that specific thing and that I was supposed to have those body parts and I'm not going to wind up regretting doing th all of this later. I'm not going to regret everything that I changed in my body. The particular surgery, the reason why it's so lethal is because I'm not just getting the female organ, I am physically getting a transplant as well through the surgery, which allows me to basically have kids. So I will... We'll both be able to allow to have kids. Yeah. <laughs> you know what that means! But, uh... <laughs> I know this is going to confuse my little sister why I have chosen to do this as well. My older sister, my older brothers, you, mom, and dad. I know this is going to be a lot to take in for my choices of what I am going to be doing. Um, I spend most of my time with these ones making sure that they're happy, smiling. I try to make this one happy too. Don't worry. Don't leave them out. I love this one. <laughs> this person. <laughs> Everyone in the pack. <laughs> one I th the entire point of the pack is to bring each other together through love. Not looks. Not money. Not race. Not gender. None of that. Just the soul itself. Oh, if you guys are hearing the little bell while uh, we're talking, that's my collar. My little bell collar. What are you doing? Oh, well, ah, fucking. Fucking man. What is going on over there? You alright? Me? Oh, I, uh. I, I sunned my toe and then proceeded to get my all my wires all mixed up and against my mic and shit, so I just had to fix it. Uh -huh. <sighs> I'm accident prone. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense. 
I, I, I like I have an Oculus Quest that I'm still trying to hook up, but uh, when I was playing just without the computer, I have ended up hitting my hand on this drawer over here. It's like to the right of me. Oh, oh really wait, hold on. Listen, yeah. everyone, listen. If I lift my hand up. That's my fan! <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, Maybe you sorry, you continue. Know. Yeah. Basically, this is going to be a lot to take in for my family. A lot of time will go into you guys wondering why I'm doing this, why I chose this path. Uh, I know. This one loves me so much. I try to make his day better every single day. Because he's an adorable golden sexy dragon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you know it's true. True. But they, they will be keeping me safe all throughout the duration of my time in Kansas through the surgeries, the two surgeries I'll be going through technically because the hormone there, is, does it count as a surgery? Uh, kind of? I, I don't think it would be. You're talking about the breast part, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that that wouldn't be it. It'd be more of like growth. So you're not you're not replacing anything. You're adding. Basically, I, I'm basically adding estrogen into my body. Now, the way this surgery works is that it's less risky than the first surgery. There's two methods. To A it. whole lot less risky. The, the way this one works is it's three shots or you take medication till you get the size you want. Um, I will be going with the shot method. The needle is the size of attack. They will inject hormones into my thigh and that will cause it to quickly take effect into my body and slowly start to overwhelm the estrogen I'll st overwhelm with estrogen into my body and get rid of most of my testosterone in my body changing me from mostly male to mostly female it is less risky because due to it's just three shots a month and I keep going until I get the size I wanted and I get the voice that I technically wanted as well. Well, not to mention you can also go and head and shave your Adam's apple if you wanted to do that. That would help high and heighten it and whatnot. Mm -mm. Uh, That's I'm considered just... a th uh, surgery. <laughs> you don't want that surgery. <laughs> Fair enough. Mine is a bit different from theirs because with me, I'm going as highly female. So, yeah, uh, I, I will also be doing estrogen. If you don't know, at, while doing estrogen, it will change, like he, like he said, change almost everything about your body. It will thin your hair out. Like, not your hair hair, but like your body hair. Mm -hmm. And it will will make your physique more feminine no matter what because that and it will make your skin softer it will it does a lot of things no matter what like, so uh, like think of think of things like uh i believe one of the side effects of it is if you originally grow facial hair um it might get rid of that ability in your body so you can no longer grow facial hair or chest hair you can still grow hair lower down in your body like on your legs on your arms stuff like that but it will get rid of the ability for me to grow facial hair most likely with the size i plan to get but it, definitely 
<laughs> yeah, no kidding. I'm the same way. <laughs> um, so basically, this is a big thing I wasn't planning on saying until after the surgeries have taken place. I was going to tell my little sister, my mom, my bigger sister, hey, I got this surgery. Is there anything I should worry about with this transition? Is there stuff I should know? But now that it's out onto the table, I'm pretty sure it will be a lot easier to ask this question instead of coming out of the blue and saying, hey, I got I got a surgery done on me. I got this surgery done, and now I'm taking this. Um, what What do I do in terms of being more female and feminine uh, because I'm pretty sure I'm going to have a lot of questions, a lot of lost things because I have always acted feminine in a way. I have always been a bit feminine, which is why I want the surgery and I want the hormone therapy to make me feel more comfortable in my body and a little bit more comfortable around others. Mm -hmm. So, yes, your son will leave normal and come back with tits and shit. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's a very blunt way to put it. I am very blunt. You probably don't like me already. <laughs> I, 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 te I tend to be blunt, but I try and put in gently if I can. I don't know how to do that, so... I literally right. pulled oh, this fine. one out of the dark. I cheered this one up when they had nowhere... No one or anyone to turn to. And you know this to be true. You know it. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. This is false. I swear. <laughs> That's a lie. We know that. Shut up. When I met Grok, uh, he was broken. He was going through hard times. And essentially, I became friends with him through another person in the pack. And we we know who it was. Raz, no. Mm -hmm. You should still know who it is if you want to say their name. Just go ahead and mention it again for the camera. Well, basically, you have the spotlight I'm, right now. I met Gronk through someone I met on here. He said, he said, I have someone I want you to meet. It sort of progressed after a couple of years to the point where we winded up in a relationship after the marriage between me and Endragon. And it sort of moved closer and closer to the point where we could not consider ourselves friends anymore. We considered each other as lovers, and that is when I figured out I was a poly in terms of relationships. That, that sounds about right. If you want, you can mention their name. You go ahead. You, you still got spotlight. No, it's your spotlight now. <laughs> it's not my spotlight, it's your spotlight. <laughs> How about just right in the middle? There we go. I, their name was Icy Snowflake at the time. Icy was also broken and... As time went on with me and Grok and I see, I slowly started to realize I had the ability to 
keep people together, keep things together when all else failed, when they thought they were lost, I would always pull them out from the dark and bring them closer to me. And they became more than just family to me. I I, I don't know. I don't know how to express how much they mean to me. Ah, my autism's kicking in. <laughs> That's interesting. <laughs> the pack. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. The, the pack is like bonded together. Everyone was broken and lost hope, but the fact that the pack exists gives everyone hope. The fact that. We found each other, and we planned everything together. Gives everyone a brighter future. Hmm. I can I can assure everyone that is watching this video, no one is perfect, but it's the thought and the heart and soul that counts. And yeah. everyone in the pack has that. How we bonded to begin with. We know that we have a disadvantage. We, we know that somewhere along the line we're not going to get accepted. But the fact that we're together will make us stronger. Mm. Um, and then there's me. <laughs> I fucking... I can't remember all the details because I'm... <laughs> <laughs> I do know that I was absolutely broken, pretty much beyond repair, like, to a really, really bad point, and, uh, this one helped me out with that, <laughs> you, you say all the, all the details and stuff. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Is that you admitting this shit? <laughs> I don't know what you mean. I didn't admit to nothing. You're the one with all the details. <laughs> Basically, when, when I came into the pack, it was a bunch of broken people. I saw my potential and I saw a future in it and I saw that they all had a future in it as well even when they didn't think they had hope I would always reassure a member of the pack that I was always there for them they didn't have to go far for help they didn't have to go anywhere they didn't have to pay a therapist i would literally sit there listen to them cry i would listen to them ramble scream <laughs> grok more than others it is it is true yeah i've i've been getting better at that stuff but uh I don't tend to yell, but when I do, it it never goes well. Uh, yes, and we've been working on that, hun. We have, and luckily it's gone to the point where uh, I don't have my quick temper as I used to, but, I mean, temper is still temper. <laughs> No, I know this is a lot of information for my viewers at home, for my parents, my family, my relatives to hear that I will be going through all of this stuff. I literally sat down for how many how many years to find this house? 
sat down for a while. I literally stayed in my room, did not leave rarely to the point where uh, my entire family said it lives. <laughs> I hate that joke with a passion. I do too. Welcome to my life. But uh, the reason I had never left my room, the reason I had isolated myself was to help the pack better themselves and keep them safe, keep them close, because I did not want to lose any of them. And Grok knows I have literally fought through heaven and earth just to keep him by my side. It is true. He has one of the biggest hearts out of everyone that I know. And like Mew said in the last video, I am so kind-hearted. I think of people before myself don't ask for much in return. But I do give back to those I care about. And when I do, it's normally not a normal amount of giving. It is a large amount instead of a small medium. It's usually, here, take a big portion of me and keep it safe. And it will keep you safe so that you always have one person to keep you safe. And Grok here can confirm that I have done this numerous times for him as well. Yes, uh, he has He has done that. It's hard to explain for some of the viewers out there. <clears throat> Maybe some videos will come out later explaining what he really means by that. But what he is saying is true, though. If you're confused, basically what I'm saying is that instead of receiving too much, I prefer not to force people into things. I prefer to rather have them. Are you done? What? Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Instead of giving back the same amount they gave to me, I normally double the amount or even triple the amount of what they gave to me in terms of emotional and physical support throughout all of their decisions, well-being. I will literally tell this one, these two most of the nights, stay safe because I really care about them. They mean the world to me. Yeah, and so does the pack. Even if I don't tell any of my friends this, um, I always want the best for them. I want them to stay safe. And it it's still gonna hurt my heart when they come in a car. I'm throwing all my stuff that I want to take with me into the car, having to hug each and every one of my family goodbye as I hop into a car with my most prized possessions and drive off to go live in Kansas and go through these surgeries and the hormone therapy to change my gender and my voice. I am literally tearing up right now. <laughs> he loves the pack with all his heart. He... What's the best way to explain this? I, I can't find the words. Razzy? He'd do anything for the pack. Mm-hmm. 
there really put is. his life <laughs> and soul into it. Mm-hmm. Literally, uh, last video, I even... It, it still hurts to say it. Sometimes I even brought up why I've been more active now in this year more than last year was because I want to leave with something sentimental in my memories to hold close and dear to my family and I will be taking some photos with me, hopefully. It's okay. He was here in the call with me. <laughs> Just so you know. Mm. But, uh, as you can see, even if I come back and i am been through all of this stuff within the span of just this year, because I want to get it all done, all of my, most of my change done this year, at least the surgery half, and maybe continue the hormone therapy into next year if it does take that long for me to get what I need to feel comfortable in my own body and feel comfortable being who I am. Every time you've heard me coo while I'm in my room again is mostly due to phantom sense all the way throughout my entire body. Some areas more severe than others. The best yeah, way to phantom touch for those who don't know what it is is basically being able to sense... Um, a, some portion of your body through a different means instead of physical. For example, VR. Mm -hmm. If someone, let's say, touches his forehead, if he has phantom touch on his forehead, he will feel that on his forehead. Uh, That's what the phantom rule touch of touching is. the ears. <laughs> or rather than touching ears. Yeah, she did. Oh, she what? No, she only touched her head. <laughs> I freak out more when people's hands are closer near my ears, because it freaks me out. Because I don't want to win a. Well, I can assure out. you, the ears are not touched. <laughs> it's fine. Razzy knows what she was doing, so. Mm. So, uh, um, mom. Dad, um, everyone who is a part of my family who knows I have this channel, um, don't worry too much about me when I do head out. I do plan on staying with the pack regardless. It was a decision I made on my own. I know you won't have me this year for my birthday because my plan was to leave before then. But uh, I, okay. I will be taking some things to remember each of you by that I hold close to me. Mm -mm. 
Mm. But th this will also help me grow myself into being more independent. This was more of my choice in the, a matter that I wanted to do. The pack is made by decision, not by force. Everyone that is in the pack has agreed to be in the pack. And they are very, very willing to stay. And I guess one of the last notes to leave off with is if my parents come across this video, I will say this. You will be allowed to visit. I'm just throwing that out there. You guys have done a lot for me. I just want to let you know you are welcome. I want to say that to my parents too. You may visit me out there if you want. I will, the whole pack will, well, I'll be keeping my phone for the duration till the pack gets our own cells and our own phones to where once I get it, I'll send, shoot you a text through the new phone and tell you you are good to shut down my old number and my old phone. But I literally put my heart, sweat, tears into keeping the pack the way it was to keep the pack together, even if it meant the expense of eating, drinking. The only reason you heard me mostly at the night was because that was when I took a break from research to physically and mentally take a break and take a hold of letting the few times I might actually get to walk around this house. You've done so much to, for me. And it means a lot to me. And it is gonna hurt me a lot to get used to not having you guys to talk to when I'm far away. I, w I will still try to make calls so that I can let you know how I'm doing, if I'm okay, especially af more frequently after the entire surgery is done. You can or you can practically choose what you want to call me because I don't mind if you still call me your son, a daughter, it goes for my siblings too, you can call me your sister or brother if you so choose since I do plan to go through with this. But it will hurt me to hug you all goodbye when I set out in that car to do something I've never done before and complete on doing something I sent out to do and something I dreamed about doing for a long period of time.
No, I will not be completing my classes. Most of my teachers already know that I'm probably not making it to July for the end of the class. I'm probably not getting that in, that paid internship out here. But I do plan on grabbing as many digital badges as I can before I go so that when I go, I go with my head held high, my chin ready to take on any challenge that comes my way if I so need them. I think I'll let them say a few things. He means dearly to, <laughs> means dearly to all of us. And we will do our best to protect him. We've chosen an area that should be safe. Nothing ghetto. So, it should be fine. And worry too much about that. And the fact that we'll all probably be on different sleep schedules while being in the same house. It will be a high probability of us catching whoever's trying to break in if there is someone trying to. Probably be rare for all of us to be asleep at the same time. But the house will be safe. We'll make sure that we might even add some cameras. This is something that we were thinking about. And... I think the best way to leave this off is if any of you have ever questioned whether you love this person or this person, you don't have to decide all the time. You could just love the both of them. Love knows no bounds. Raz. Um, if you truly don't believe he's safe, don't worry, because I want you to know I will happily and willingly take any harm that is supposed to come to this one to the face for him. If it's a bullet or a knife wound, I am a night owl, so I will definitely be the one to spot the burglar first, most likely, because we all know this, usually at night. Uh, not to say that that will ever happen, because the odds of that happening are slim to none, but in case there is ever, I will be the first one there, and I will be the first one to take the hit. I promise you this one will be safe. And we've already said it once, but we'll say it again. You can visit, like, probably any time. I don't really know. But maybe give family us of this. Yeah, give give us give us a heads up. Give us a head up. Heads up, please. But any any family or loved ones of this one are families and loved ones of me and Grog. I guarantee you that. Us, uh, like a, a month or two just to get settled in, just to make sure that we yeah. got our rooms and set everything up to our liking and adjusted everything so we start getting comfortable. If you, if any of you who are watching this want to help us out, Dawson probably has posted his um, PayPal tons of times, so you can not put it buy any of his uh, merch. Or, huh? I don't have any merch. I've been working on. Well, I mean, merch, you do commissions though. and stuff, right? I have been working on merch, though. I've been working okay. on mugs, t-shirts, a mouse pad, 
a few little special trinkets for <laughs> luggage, a dog tag, hoodie. and a backpack. Hoodie. And a hoodie. You should get a hoodie? Yeah. Yeah. Hoodies are nice. So, he, he does have a PayPal, so... Just make sure you check out if he's got any merch, or if you want him to do a commission for you, he's happy to do so, he's happy to help. And all that money will be funded toward both of their surgeries, and if there's any extra left, it will go toward the house. <laughs> I think it would be best to leave it off here, so please check out his PayPal, help him out. Make sure you subscribe to him, too. I'm pretty sure that if you made it this far, you've known what he's gone through. Thank you, Grok and Raz, for helping me make this video. I hope Mom and Dad and the rest of my family, you understand what I am trying to accomplish one day and that you understand how much this means to me and this is where i will cut the video thank you for taking your time to watch this if you want to help me go through fall with the surgery, at least have something to eat, drink, even do a commission. I am more than happy to make an avatar that is public that you can give to your friends, you can have. Just please let me know ahead of time. I'll leave a link to my pay to sorry going back to my patreon eventually because when i first started it it was a big bust it it wasn't getting the attention i originally hoped it would but i think it's time to go back to the original roots of this channel which was live stream shenanigans of shit that i was playing on and it tended to go relatively well <sighs> thank you for watching i'll see all of you in the next video